vroom, vroom. We need a button for nitrous. A second button for nitrous. Love it. <laughs> Chingadiris is a technical term. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she is for sale. I haven't made the listing for her yet, but I'm going to. I'm asking eight and a half. That's with the light bar. The wheels, you're gonna have to pry out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Hi, Tasty. Bye, Tasty. <laughs> We just got here at EJ's Auto. Hello, Sunfire. Hello, super sick bug eye wagon. All right, let's go say what's up to the guys. Marco! Hey! <laughs> what's up? How you doing? Oh, I love this so much. Hello! Hey! How are you now? Good. How about you? Good, and you? Good. <laughs> How are you now? Good, and you? Not so bad. <laughs> I told you we were going to use this for today's video. <laughs> Oh. You ready to have some fun? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so I was thinking... <laughs> we sent a rod to the moon. <laughs> oh. Let me see what we can do. <laughs> right answer. <laughs> How many you can hold me with a small little thing? Oh, so nitrous? I want to blow up my Subaru. Oh, do you have a line we can use to hook out the window and into the hood? So he can just wail oh. it open? Oh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. This thing's sick. Holy shit. It's for sale too, 12K for a Civic. You're welcome. I'll bring this back. All right. <laughs> and some rod pieces, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> All right, I'll carry the heavy one. All right. <laughs> All right, a couple things are gonna happen. Either when we fog the intake, it's just going, the car's gonna die, something's gonna blow. Uh, I can't think of a third one. Comment below what you guys think. <laughs> Realistically, what's gonna happen is it's just gonna run so lean because there's not gonna be enough fuel and that's what's gonna cause it to go, but let's find out. All right, engine number six, let's go, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah! She started right up! <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. So I was thinking, that sounded good, that we would just shove it up here. Oh, okay. And then we can like... Do you think that's too far? Nah. We should do it like right here. Okay. We can make a little <laughs> hole in this. All right, let's do that. <laughs> this guy knows how to party. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> you ready for this? Let's do it. <laughs> You're right, cameraman. If you f up, everyone on the internet will know it's you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seatbelts? You got your seatbelt on? So when I floor it, well, as much as you can, okay. and then you'll feel if something happens, just shut it. All right. That's a bad, that's a gnarly cam. <laughs> cam. This is probably a very bad idea. Do it. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm scared to be in this car right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! It smells like a fire! Oh my god! Holy sh! You guys, that was so much fun. Oh, there's so much carnage. There's so much carnage. Oh no. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> we hooked up a nitrous bottle to my car. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go look at the car. Let's look under the hood. <laughs> All right, let's pop this. Oh, it blew the. It moved the hood. Look. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, there's pieces in here. <laughs> oh, the grill is pushed out. We probably should have brought it. <laughs> oh no! You know what I just realized, you guys? Why didn't we bring a fire extinguisher? <laughs> oh my god! So that's when it went. So the engine probably could still run. Should I turn it over? Try. Right. Yeah, I think it will run again. Just be careful. No, that's it. Yeah. All right, we killed her. <laughs> Sunfire. <laughs> it like wanted to go. <laughs> It's cranking. 
smoking. Whoa. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Oh, that was a great way to open today's vlog. The real point of today was to pull this edge and get her ready for the build 207. But we had to let her go the only way I know how, and that's to blow my six Subaru engine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's still good. <laughs> yeah. It looked like. Round two? <laughs> how come when I try to blow a Subaru engine, it's one of the most reliable ones? Yeah. <laughs> Now I know in a state of crisis if a car blows up, I take my hand off the wheel, I stop and I run. I don't know why I didn't pull over. I don't know why I didn't keep driving to see what happened. Just, you don't really know until it happens to you, but it's happened once. I think next time I'll be a little more ballsy. I feel like Fluffy oh, Panda right now. It cracked the windshield? It cracked the windshield? Oh, it cracked the windshield. Thank God that was there. Well, that was fun. It smells good. <laughs> oh my God. Something hit there. It cracked that it cracked and it. stress fractured up there. We about to need a new windshield now too. <laughs> Surprisingly, the engine went up pretty good. It was really the intercooler that took a shit. So I think we're finally at the point, you guys, now where we are going to pull the engine and then assess the damage. But we think mainly it's really, we'll see. your glorified Subaru? Uh, well, I mean, it runs. I'm like this one. <laughs> it's just not moving. It just doesn't roll. It, it runs, but it doesn't roll. <laughs> it was rolling for about two days. It's okay. We won't talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> So I do have one question. Yeah, what's that? You've been through how many motors now? Like seven or? Six, but I'm not counting. Okay. Well, <laughs> or seven? Sure. Okay. Why do you keep going back to Subarus? They obviously don't treat you very well. There's no good answer for it. It keeps Jesse in business. <laughs> <laughs> it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> I've known you for eight years. Uh huh. I've never seen you turn around. You're gonna do the motor out. Oh god. <laughs> Jackets are coming that's, off. Jackets that's... coming off. We brought big money out here. Big money. Let's see if I can even do this. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> there is so much oil on this thing. Wow. Actual proof that stay crushing turns a wrench. I don't think people can even understand how much oil there is down here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that motor definitely blew up. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so used to a turboed Subaru. I called the intake box earlier an intercooler, and I just realized it because I went to refer to it, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I feel like you need to do some zoom ups of this because it's. Should we? Should we show everyone? Oh, gross. <laughs> it's like probably a half inch thick. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> about the weather you guys and it is so cold it is getting even colder i got home last night it was 34 degrees you're wearing a t-shirt <laughs> you were not, too I'm, you were just saying how cold it is i'm working so i'm kind of warm i will forever believe that los angeles cold is different than indiana cold than anything i've experienced very different it is it's a different cold and this is like cold to the bones like indiana it's like surface cold. I don't know how to explain it. But I will say this. The first time I was in a tornado warning. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> no, it's not. The sky turns color. Yeah. I was driving my friend's NSX, like one of the new ones. And all of a sudden I hear, my phone goes tornado warning. There's no exit for like seven miles. And there's like plants and stuff flying across the road. I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. This sucks. My first tornado experience, I was at the park and I saw it in the sky and then I saw it touch down. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. No, it's and not. then, it then the sirens started going off in the town. I was like, oh, I gotta go to the nearest grocery store and go to the basement. <laughs> at least, like, I was at a car fast enough to where if things did pop off, yeah. like, 
And light enough to... <laughs> light enough to float. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You like that? <laughs> and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, work those jujitsu arms. Oh, I think we're good. We clear it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Strongest Subaru engine I've ever had. Until we put the 207 in at least. It didn't break. It didn't, no, it's still nope. good. Hey, for sale, you guys, if you want it. Come and get it. So the intake box is the only thing that broke. Everything else looks fine. Minus the rod knock that was already wrong with it. It oh, looks wait, wait. good. It broke or exploded. <laughs> the pilot bearing doesn't move. It's just stuck. <laughs> so here we go, the engine is out of Sunfire. Look how filthy that subframe is. Oh my God, this cross member here, you guys, uh, I'm not gonna do it. So we actually are gonna be swapping this out and the rear out because we're going Brembo's. We're gonna be switching to five by 114. In order to do that, we do need to swap basically everything. I need all new arms, um, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, we were just talking. I don't think there's a single panel on this car that doesn't have damage to it. And if it was, it was the hood and we just bowed yeah. up. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> And your windshield. And the windshield, but you know, I've broken two windshields now. I had on the Buick and on this. I might need to get a windshield sponsor soon, boys. <laughs> so the original plan after pulling the engine was we're gonna power wash everything, but since we're replacing the subframe, since we're replacing, well, we're gonna be pulling out everything anyways, we may as well wait till we get to that point and then we'll power wash the bay. We'll clean it up, maybe even put a fresh coat of paint in there in order to put the 207 in. Let's go see the 207. Where should I uh, throw these out? <laughs> <laughs> Later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get her up on an engine stand. I'm not strong enough to help, so we're using a hoist here. I'll man the hoist. Oh, look at this clean, clean engine. Oh, the horsepower is Google to damn. Oh, we got sunsets with sunfire. So I was just kind of writing up something on my phone and taking little notes of thoughts I have in my head and something I'm gonna share with you guys on Instagram, but I also wanted to address it here. These past two and a half, almost three years now of YouTubing full time. I have never worked harder in my entire life. Even in high school, you know, I tried to do the, the bare minimum work in order to skim by, not really put in my full effort. You know, shortly after my father passing, moved to Indiana, realizing I was on my own. I was working three jobs. I was going to school, well, technically four jobs. I was going to school part time at the same time. And I, I wasn't trying for the A's. I wasn't trying for the employee of the month. I was just trying to get by. And you know what, saying that I didn't try it, that's the wrong term. I think what it really comes down to is I didn't value the work ethic. I didn't know what I could accomplish if I was just willing to put my mind to it, if I was willing to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, work all, like, and just work. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying I never tried in life. I had to try just to survive. There's a certain point, I've been on food stamps three times. I've had cabbage and onions for dinner for, for so many nights. And now that I'm able to work on cars for a living, it's just having your own company or, or something else for your own boss is such an incredible feeling. I'm, I'm so blessed to love what I do and be able to make a career doing it. And you guys can do that too, you just have to understand nothing comes easy. The first few years, those are some of the hardest years you will have to work in order to get something off the ground, but it's, it, it is truly worth it. And maybe now I'm rambling, I just, I'm about to go off to take some time and take a break tomorrow. So I'm just working on the cars, feeling very grateful this is what I do. And I, and I wanted to show that with you guys. It, it's a lot to think of, it's a lot to be grateful for. Yeah. If it's something you care about and something you want to go after in your life, work as hard as you possibly can. At least you'll know that you, you did and you tried. If you failed, so f what? Keep working at it. It'll be worth it. One last thought I did have is that I wouldn't be here without you guys for watching. So thank you for clicking on it every day, for commenting, for sharing, for being active and engaging, and just supporting me and my crazy f dreams. <laughs> I support you guys. I sincerely do. All right, we got the 207 on the stand. I don't know, I got a good feeling about this, you guys. So we have the gates timing 
Swing Kit, the water pump, and the 11 millimeter STI oil pump. This is what Greg recommended to run with with this engine. We were gonna do the valve covers today, but I ordered the US valve cover gaskets and not the JDM ones. That's my mistake. These don't work with AVCS. We're laying everything out here, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox these and get these installed. And we'll have to come back and do the valve covers after the holidays. All right, here's the timing kit. Here's the water pump. Don't have a thermostat, but we're gonna install this and do that later. prime it we need to put an oil pan on with a pickup tube and the oil pan is filth and we need to wash it we have the valve cover sitting right there in that oil bin we also need to wash those as well but we don't have the gaskets for those the sun is set it is past the time that the shop is open they have families to go home to you have great news can we share it yeah go ahead you share it. that's your news you share it you he's having another baby <laughs> he's so shy yeah <laughs> only only because that yeah <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just finish here we'll pick back up after the holidays we're, we'll clean the oil pan then make sure it's primed because the last thing we want is to pull another motor so ideally next video we're finishing that off and doing an install but we got distracted by sorting out everything to see what we had to make sure we have everything so we're ready to go and make things look pretty fast online but there's so much that goes into it let's wrap this bad boy up <laughs> I think the truth is we just don't like each other and we act like it on the vlog. Are you recording right now? Absolutely not. Oh, hey, Mule, how are you? Good to see you. It's been a little while. Uh, can I ask you a question? What are you guys filming? We're just vlogging. Yeah. You're vlogging? Yeah, you can't. You gotta have a permit. All right, five minutes with Didi. Just trying to film the closeout. We got kicked out. Thanks a lot, Dave. I apologize about that. We were gonna film our closeout and then I was told we can't film here anymore. And I had a very appropriate response and with an emotional reaction. So, we're gonna end the vlog here, you guys. Make sure you hit the uh, shop. What's the shop called? Shop.amelahepford.com. We out here. With love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>